Hi, today we're gonna to talk about how to never give up as an entrepreneur. Now, as you're looking to grow your business, as you're looking to grow your influence, a lot of that is entrepreneurship. And there are a few skills and talents that you're gonna to wanna to know so that you don't ever give up. Hi, I'm Scott Wilhite. I'm your Record Yourself video coach. I am here to help heart-centered entrepreneurs make a greater difference and a greater impact in the world using the power of self-recorded internet video. Okay, if you haven't thought about doing that, ah, it changes the world for you when you're able to get out there and share your message and make a connection with people in remarkable ways. So if, if you can tell right now that this is something that you are going to enjoy, uh, make sure that you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you ring the bell, and uh, then you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Okay, today we're gonna talk about how to never give up as an entrepreneur. I do have to tell you, it is hard being an entrepreneur. So today, I'm gonna share with you two stories and, uh, and three amazing secrets that will help you. Okay, now the reason I'm sharing with you stories is stories are these amazing, powerful tools that when we have these stories, we're able to pull them out and we're able to remember them. Uh, stories give us our identity, they help us make choices, they help us make sense of the world. When we have a story to hold on to, that helps give us courage and encouragement. It helps, a, you know, uh, give a, a vision or a dream as to where we're going. Stories are so important. So I just want to explain why I'm sharing stories. And then I will share with you those three secrets that when you do these three things, it's gonna help you not give up. It's gonna help you make it through those hard times. So the first story I'm gonna share with you is about a young man named Mel Farr. So it's 1980. Mel Farr is the equipment manager for a football team. The Brigham Young University Cougars. They are there to play in one of their first bowl games. And the night before the big game, they have this big team meeting. And you know, and this is where they get everyone all pepped up and all excited. Well, somebody had this great idea to have Mel Farr rip a phone book. And Mel was, he was kind of a small guy. He, he, he had a big heart, but he was not a football player sized guy. But boy, his heart was. And Mel had this trick that he could rip a phone book in half. Well, the guys decided to kind of make a game of it and, uh, and get him up on stage and have him rip a phone book there. Well, they, they get him all excited and he comes running up to the front of the room to do that and then they pass the phone book up. And this is San Diego. This is not Laramie, Wyoming. This, Wyoming. This is not one of those smaller towns that they'd been to where the, the phone book was nice and small and he could rip it. Uh, but this was San Diego. And he had this huge phone book that they passed up to him. And so he grabs it and he fans the, the pages out just a little bit like, you know, it's kind of his technique and he starts going into it. And he's just pulling and pulling and pulling and it's not budging. There is like nothing happening. And he's just giving it everything he's got and he's he's starting to sweat and the, the players are getting a little uncomfortable watching him and, uh, and the quarterback hops up and says, hey, <laughs> that was a good try, Mel. Uh, don't worry about it. You know, just just sit down, that's fine. And, and Mel like pushes him off and she says, no never give up and and he's just really getting into it and uh, a couple of the players in the back are laughing you know cuz they're watching this kind of this comical thing because this is you know this is a huge phone book that he's trying to tear in half and uh, and you know finally um, one of the players at the back says, Mel, you can do it. And starts chanting, Mel, 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 Mel. And at this time, like his forehead, like you could see the veins popping from his forehead as he's just giving it everything he's got and it is not budging. But they start shouting for him, Mel, 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 Mel. <laughs> and he's just sticking with it. And then finally, all of a sudden, he tears it. He gets uh, just a little bit and he tears it in half and he throws half of the phone book in the air and he yells, never give up. Now, the important part about that story is the very next day when they played in that Holiday Bowl, they were down by 21 points with four minutes left to go in the game. And with, with 
um, which and they they had been beat soundly the whole game. Well, they started to, to Mel walked up and down that uh, the sideline there with the phone book and telling the guys never give up, never give up. Well, they did this amazing rally and they were able to score quickly two times and then an onside kick and then they came down to a hail mary pass. Yes, they won the game. It was called the Miracle Bowl, but the big miracle was the story that happened the night before. That story with Mel where he didn't give up, where he gave everything he had into it. Whenever I have been down, <laughs> I've realized I'm not out. You can be down, but you don't have to be out. And I've remembered that story to help me with my, you know, sticking with entrepreneurship. So that's the first story I want to tell you. The second story, let me just tell you really briefly, it's about Sarah Blakely. Now, if you are an entrepreneur and want to learn how to sell really well, want to learn how to create, create your products so that people really resonate with them, study what Sarah Blakely did. She started with $2,000 and um, she had this idea to create footless pantyhose. And it wasn't out there and, you know, all the other, you know, all the pantyhose was designed by men and created by men. And she had some ideas that would really impact women. And she believed in a product and she got it out there. And she created, oh, I just lost the, the, the name of it. <laughs> okay. But she created a billion dollar company because she believed in what she had and what she had to offer. So if you don't know her story... Google uh, Sarah Blakely. She also teaches entrepreneurship. She teaches the strategies that she had that she would do um, to sell, to get people to envision themselves in how their life was going to be better using her product. So here are the three secrets, okay? The first secret is to have a purpose. If you have a purpose, if you know exactly why you're doing this for, and, and if you have that, that understanding, that belief in your mind, that is gonna so help you when the times get really hard, when you've got that vision. The, the second part of that is to design your life. Design what your life is going to be like when you are successful as an entrepreneur. Write it down. Figure out, okay, what does an average day look like for you? What does, you know, how do I eat? Where do I go? What, what do I do for exercise? What time do I get up? What are, what are my habits? What are my routines? Design your life already. And then the third step in there, I like to do threes like this. The third step is to live as if. Live, live as if that's already happened. And you can think about, you know, when you get into situations, you can think, how would the person I'm going to become do the things I'm about to do? When you step into it like that, when you step into it with confidence, when you step into it with that vision, that purpose, that, that clarity, you will be able to stick with your dream, your vision, your, your mission to be a great entrepreneur. I hope that I can help you with that. I hope that as you learn to share your messages on video, that you can record yourself and that you can create a great library of that. I'm happy to help you do that. But if you are that heart-centered person, I want you to not give up. Be a great entrepreneur, make a difference in the world, and happy to help you along the way. If you're a heart-centered person who wants to make a difference in the world, ah, video is the way to do it. I'm happy to help you get started. Click right here to take my quick start challenge and you can get started today.